everyone, I have some more boxes that I would like to share with you all. These boxes I'm going to call just for you. I just love that sentiment because it could be for any occasions. And you just whip them out of your um, gift area and you can give it to anybody for any occasion. So um, I think they're really cute. And they just open up like this. You just take this thing out and they open up like this. They're really, really cute. And again, you can um, fold them down and mail them. So here we go. So the first thing you want to do is start off with your cardstock. Your cardstock will measure at nine and a half by seven and a half. You are going to be needing two designer papers or pattern papers uh, that measures um, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and start doing this. So let's go ahead on the long side, which is the landscape side. We're going to go ahead and score it at three and a half. Okay, three and a half, four and a half. I'm just going to redo it. Just three and a half, four and a half. I just want to make sure that those score marks are really visible. Eight and nine. And then turn it to the portrait mode or portrait side and score it at one. Two, five and a half, and six and a half. Okay? So this is my template right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut off this whole first um, rectangle, all the way to the first score line here. And take this off and also do it to the other side, which is... Um, mirror on the other side basically okay we're going to make this H so we're going to take all these purple part that you see we're going to go ahead and snip those off okay so let's do that so you can take you can use your um, craft scissors or you can use your um, what do you call it you can use your um, trimmer if you like so First things first, I'm going to go ahead and cut off this whole section right here. So go all the way to the first score line that you saw, that you made, I'm sorry, okay? And again, turn it like a letter T and go all the way to the first score line. So it's going to look like a letter T. And then on this side, you want to go ahead and um, it's all about cutting these corners and like, you know, when you have flaps, cut them in a little uh, V section. So you're going to do this for the flap and do this also on this side. And the reason why you're doing it like this is because you're going to cut off this middle part. Okay, you're going to cut this middle part off. And then you're going to also do the same thing on this side here. And you're also going to cut that small rectangular part right there. So here we go. So this side here, cut this rectangular part. This side here, cut all this in the middle. And then just make sure you have that V cut. Because it just makes the uh, flaps a little bit easier to fold in, and I just want to make sure that none of those things are sticking out. Like here, like I have some of the uh, paper sticking out. I want to go back in there and make sure I trim that straight. Okay. So that's what you have, and let's go ahead and move all the garbage out of the way. And then. I scored here, so I'm going to fold it in. You can use your bone folder, which right now in this pile of mess, I cannot find my bone folder, but I can go ahead and do this. Fold. Oh yeah, on these corners right here, the two flaps that you're going to use for bottom and top, um, right here, these two 
um, these are going to be the lid or the bottom. You just want to take your quarter, uh, corner rounder and trim those off right there. So cut up all the corners. Okay. And then again, do all your scoring. Fold all your scores. You see how I did that? I did not cut it straight. So yeah, I think if you're better at using your um, trimmer, go ahead and do so. I'm still practicing on using these long scissors. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. Fold all the score lines. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead. This little flap here is where you would use your um, adhesive. Uh, really strong adhesive or your sticky tape because that's how you will be adhering the box together and that's the only time you'll need this tape. Oh my goodness. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to make sure it's really flush on there. And then you just want to fold this over because it should be even, okay? Because you can totally send this in the mail, okay? And then on here, you wanna go ahead and um, tape your, I'm trying to put my tape here. Tape the two uh, designer papers. So look at the pattern, how you want it. Since my heart's going like this, I will be putting the pattern that way. Goodness. Try to angle it out. Let's see. Angle it in the middle. I'm sorry. Not angle it out, but angle it in the middle. Okay, so I need to work on it a bit. Let's see. You could have gone ahead and um, adhere it before you put the box together, but I thought it would be easier this way this time, but guess not. Let me go ahead. Right in the middle. That one looks better. Okay. Then what you want to do is take, um, yeah, you should have just done this earlier. Sorry. Take a little, I'm using my oval punch right here, or you can use the half a, uh, a circle punch, anything that you can use. And since this is the part that I want to be on the front, I mean the top part. This is where I would do the punch, and this is, I'm just eyeballing it so you could see just a tad bit, just for it to be able to snap out. So you just close this box that way, close this box this way, okay? So it looks like this. Then, um, as you could see on the other box, I had a ribbon um, but for this particular box I don't have any matching um, ribbon so I will be using the uh, Baker's twine and I'm trying to look for my paper with my stamp on there okay here it is so again I will be using my artisan um, or artisan um, punch stamp and the a matching paper punch. Okay. Use your dimensionals on that. The the ribbons that I got from I think it was either Ross or Tuesday morning. It was was, there's a lot in it. I think there's 20 ribbons, but nothing matched this little lavender box. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the Baker's Twine. I think it's fine to... It's, it's okay to use it. It's really cute too. And then, 
and I just love everything that coordinates. So when I try to do a project, that's my main goal now is to coordinate everything so it looks as if it was meant to be put together like this. Even though it's handmade, it just looks so much better um, if the papers are all coordinated. So it's something like this. So this is what I have here. And like I said, you can fold this up and send it out to your family and friends. Um, you know, like if you want it to be a uh, helper, like, hey, I can do the party uh, favors for your, you know, goddaughter or your child's birthday and you, you know, want to send it or, you know, anything. This is like a box alone is a gift. It's perfect. So there you have it. My, um, just for you gift boxes. And I hope you guys like watching my videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.